Okay, here we are, NAMM 2013. Uh, we're with uh, Dave Smith Instruments, and we are with the man himself here, uh, Dave Smith. Uh, they made a big announcement uh, at the NAMM show here. A lot of people, a lot of buzz wanting to see this new instrument. It's the Prophet 12, and uh, we'll let Dave talk a little bit about that. And after that, uh, we talk about the Prophet. We'll talk about his uh, X4, which also was released uh, about three or four months ago? Yes. Okay, so Prophet 12. Tell us a little bit about this. Okay, <clears throat> this is our new top-of-the-line instrument. Uh, 12 voices, that's what a 12 came from. Uh, it's got a digital front end, analog back end, so uh, we've got four digital oscillators plus a sub-oscillator per voice. Uh, we have this uh, whole bunch of control of the oscillators. And then we have this character section that has five different effects that you could take on the oscillators. And then it goes into the uh, analog low-pass filter. And there's also an analog high-pass filter that's fully resonant. And so basically everything after that is uh, analog. So we also have tune feedback, feature from our uh, from the Poly Evolver keyboards. Uh, we have a quad delay unit uh, that's also per voice, so every voice can have its own delay. That's great. Uh, and then it all goes through a stereo distortion analog after that. So basically everything's analog after a certain point on the signal path. Uh, a ton of modulation, a ton of knobs, we have uh, new controllers. We have these little sliders in here in addition to the uh, pitch and mod wheels and the pressure and the velocity on the weighted keyboard. Uh, a great OLED screen here for uh, makes it easy to see um, all the controls and editing. So it's just, a, it's just a great instrument. It's probably the best instrument I've ever designed out of 35 years of designing instruments. That's quite a testimony there, the best instrument you ever designed. I tell you what, I was playing it over there, it sounds great. Can you just uh, do a couple of things, oh, get sure. a little sounds here? It sounds like you've got a little something for everybody. You've got the Hollywood oh, crowd. You've got, you got uh, you know, the 80s keyboard players. And, you and got you've it got the, the dance people covered there, too. So Pretty much. Especially, they're going to love that, uh, have it being able to have um, delays on, on the different sections of the keyboard and different patches. Yeah. That's going to be awesome. Yeah, because the, the delay can sync up to the LFOs, which can sync up to the arpeggiator, which can sync up to an external clock. So you can just have everything in the instrument synced up like crazy. So which gives you all kinds of possibilities. Excellent. Now, this uh, instrument you were telling me is not quite out yet, but it was a couple more months? Yes. Okay. Probably spring. Okay. And, yeah. Retail? $3,000, roughly. I can't beat that. That's amazing. No. That is amazing. Anyway, also, really quickly, I know you got another demo to do, but uh, tell us a little bit about the Mofo X4. The X4 is basically an analog, all analog synth. Uh, it's low cost. It's four voices. It's compact. Got all the knobs to control everything. Sounds great. It's just... Uh, so there's just all kinds of stuff you can do. It's just meant to be the perfect mono, I mean the poly anti analog synth that you can carry around with you. Fits anywhere. So any place in your rig. A lot of the pros love this thing because it's and completely it's, analog. So for all yeah. you guys out there that've been saying Moog, where's your poly? We got poly yeah. over here. For how much is we looking at? This is a uh, twelve ninety nine. Wow, for twelve ninety nine. Sounds great. Thank you much for taking some time to talk to us. Thanks. Have a great now. You too. All Thanks. Right.